Um, but let me start. My name is Dr. Honorio Tudino. I am the a faculty coordinator for the Bachelor of Applied Science in International Business. Uh, it's a four-year degree and um, it's a bachelor's. Uh, it's exactly the same as uh, bachelor's that you would get from University of Washington or from Seattle University or from Harvard or Stanford or anything like that. It's a bachelor's degree. And um, it's in the area of uh, international business. Although um, it's really a business degree. So it's also equivalent to uh, bachelor's in business administration, bachelor of science in management, uh, those kinds of uh, degrees. Um, so um, we teach all the same courses. Uh, anywhere from uh, management courses to uh, marketing, to finance, to operations management, to project management, to entrepreneurship, uh, to global strategy, um, uh, business ethics, uh, inter uh, international business law. Um, and so we, uh, teach all the uh, the same courses that are that are taught in bachelor of science degrees in universities uh, but in the uh, entire um, Seattle colleges system uh, we're the only degree program in international business uh, specifically um, so um, it seems we have uh, another person in the room Rebecca Bolekimo. Okay, welcome, uh, Rebecca. Uh, it seems that uh, Jehe Jun uh, went to another uh, uh, breakout room. Uh, so right now we have Doris and Rebecca. Um, so again, uh, my name is uh, Dr. Honorio Todino, and uh, I have a PhD in international business. And uh, I am the lead faculty for the uh, Bachelor of Applied Science in International Business. Um, let, let me make this uh, bigger. Okay, uh, Rebecca, uh, can you um, introduce yourself a little bit? Uh, can you tell us? Um... Uh, hi, my Hello. name is Rebecca. I go to uh, Garfield High School. I'm a yes. senior. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, that's, that's good. It? Yeah, welcome. Uh, Doris, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Uh -huh. Yes, of course. I, I would like to introduce myself to you. Uh, I'm a ESL student in Central Central College, uh, and I'm interested in business. Yeah. I think I will found a business uh, or I will take the business class. Okay. Okay. That's that's, all. Thank you. Okay, that's good. Thank you. Yes. Um we have a lot of students that become entrepreneurs and uh start their own businesses um in this uh, degree because uh, it's actually a, a four year uh, business administration degree with an emphasis on international business, but you also learn uh, all the fundamentals that are taught in uh, business administration or management uh, programs. So um, so it's a four-year degree uh, uh, and it's about business in general or management in nonprofit or government, okay? Um, So we have different options. There's a 100% online option. Uh, there's also a hybrid option. Um, and we, uh, before the pandemic, we used to have face-to-face uh, -face classes uh, as well. And um, depending on the COVID situation and the number of students, we might have face-to-face -face classes again uh, in the future as, as different options. So students aren't forced into any option. Uh, but it gives you options 
uh, alternatives for for different options. There's hundred percent online. There's hybrid, which is a mix between online uh, and Zoom classes. And then there's are also there used to be face to face classes before the pandemic. So we'll see how many students want to have face to face classes again. But if not, we always have enough students in the one hundred percent online. So this is only offered in North Seattle College. In fact. Uh, this is the only international business four-year degree offered in the United States from a community college, okay? The only other international business bachelor's degrees in the whole country are from universities. We are the only community college, North Seattle College, that has a bachelor's in international business. Okay, so... Um, High school graduates. Yes, Rebecca, you have a question? Yes, I do have a question. So for this program, you just have to go to South Seattle. What about Central? They no. don't have this program? No, it, it is only in North, North Seattle College, uh, which is very close to oh. downtown. In fact, uh, there is a, a train... There's a train uh, line, a train station right across North Seattle College, and it's only five minutes from downtown Seattle. Uh, and so it, it's, you know, it's the same as having a college in downtown Seattle, because now the uh, light rail uh, goes directly across the college at the North Gate Station. And uh, all you have to do is uh, cross the bridge that crosses the uh, uh, the highway, the freeway I-5, there is a pedestrian bridge, brand new, uh, that just uh, opened last year. And in fact, the Northgate uh, light rail train station just opened last year. And it's only five minutes from uh, downtown uh, stations. Um, and so it, it, there's really no difference going to a central uh, not uh, station into North Seattle uh, College uh, because of the light rail uh, is now right on North Seattle College. And it takes you right to the parking lot of the college uh, by walking across the pedestrian bridge. Um, so uh, if a student is decided on taking the four-year degree, uh, you can take the Associate of Applied Science AST program in business in North Seattle College. Uh, and then after the two years, you take the two the last two years uh, still in North Seattle College. So you get the Bachelor's of Applied Science. Or even if you take a different uh, uh, the associate's degree or two-year degree, you can still apply to the Bachelor of Science uh, in North Seattle uh, college uh, and just complete a few prerequisites, but you can be accepted in the program already while completing the prerequisites. Um, and the nice thing about our Bachelor of Science program is we have a dedicated advisor that only works with students in the Bachelor of Applied Science in Business. So this is a different advisor than the ones that work with the, the two-year programs, but the uh, the four-year uh, program advisor uh, can work with you, whatever your background is. Um, and so basically it's a business degree. So any position in business can be taken by our graduates. Um, and so, so medium, medium salary, anywhere from 40 to 70 after graduation. Although, you know, it depends, we have a student who went into finance and was making a hundred thousand after a graduation, but uh, these are just examples of different jobs our graduates have actually uh, taken because um, we are actually the oldest Bachelor of Science uh, degree in North Seattle College, and we're the second oldest in the entire uh, Seattle College system. So the oldest Bachelor of Science degree program is in South Seattle. And then we followed and we started in 2003. So we've been around for 10 years and we've had a number of graduates already. We probably have about 200, more than 200 graduates by now, uh, 200, 
probably close to 250. Um, and so uh, there's different jobs like a uh, operations and sales, uh, supplier management, like the supply chain, uh, systems analyst uh, that's working with uh, computer systems in the uh, IT department. Um, in Amazon, we have business development uh, specialists. Uh, business development, they deal with vendors in uh, other countries. Uh, also, we've had uh, people uh, work in nonprofit, city of Seattle, for example, or uh, work in academia, like in South Seattle College, we had somebody that was working in international programs. Uh, we have uh, somebody in the Port of Seattle uh, working in international uh, transportation uh, and logistics. And uh, we've had an, a lot of people also start their own business. We have had entrepreneurs who start their own business uh, one of our students who hasn't graduated yet uh, won a, a Seattle competition for business plans. Um, and we've had people who uh, entered our program while, while uh, operating a business, while they were managing their own uh, company uh, and studying for us because we have a really flexible uh, program. And uh, if you take all the courses, uh, right away, you can finish it in two years. But we've had people that finished it in three years or four years because they take fewer courses because they're running their own business at the same time. Um, also, um, if, if you uh, have some accounting background and you want to get a CPA, the courses also count for the CPA. Um, we've also had a lot of uh, graduates get their MBA after they finish. Uh, so for example, uh, Central Washington University has an IT and administrative management masters. And some of our students have gone there. In fact, we have an agreement with them where our graduates are automatically accepted in their master's program. A city University uh, in downtown Seattle they have an MBA degree. We have several students that, that went there. Seattle Pacific University, again, we've had several students that went there. University of Washington, we've had several students that get their master's degree from there in supply chain uh, and logistics. Um, I'm just going to skip uh, this part because this is just, um, okay, uh, and so, uh, students can get accepted into our four-year uh, Bachelor of Applied Science degree straight from high school, okay? Uh, more than 50% of our graduates are planning to go into graduate uh, business school and get a master's, okay? We've also had 100% online students that actually were not in Seattle. Uh, for example, uh, we had students that were in Texas, in Alaska, in Idaho, uh, we had students that started in North Seattle College, but then went to another country and finished their degree online. So we had students that went to Europe or the Middle East and finished their degree there. Um, we, had, we had students that started their degree in North Seattle College, but then they got transferred because of family or job reasons. And then they finished their degree online uh, in a different state. So. Uh, it's very uh, profitable, okay? So uh, our graduates also work in nonprofits and government, in small local business. Uh, they've also started companies as entrepreneurs and they work for the biggest companies in Washington State like uh, Amazon, like Boeing, like Microsoft. Okay, so, uh, these are some of the courses that you take. Uh, we have cor courses on international culture, business ethics, project management, international marketing, international finance, management of information systems, global entrepreneurship. Um, we, we, see, we use a lot of business case studies from MIT and University of Washington and other universities. So they, our students basically learn the same things as students in top universities. Our faculty like myself, have taught in universities uh, before and have worked and managed our own uh, businesses. Um, 
but we believe community colleges are one of the best ways to solve problems of income inequality and systemic racism in our society. So um, we provide a very good environment for immigrants. Uh, I am one uh, myself, uh, and we have several faculty that are immigrants or are born in the US, but we provide a very welcoming uh, environment for immigrants, for international students. Uh, we have a lot of international students um, and all, a lot of them had graduated from the program, okay? Uh, we often have industry advisors and guest speakers from different industries like banking, IT, logistics, supply chain, okay? And as part of the program, there's also a work internship where, where and students can work with a business or a nonprofit or a government agency, okay? Uh, the other thing is you start with a group of students and you take the same courses as those other students, okay? so. You immediately have a social group uh, that you can get to know. So you're not just going from one class to another with different uh, groups of students all the time uh, because you take the same classes with your cohort, the student that you started at the same time with, okay? Um, and we have students that have finished in less than four years if they've taken running start while they were in high school, okay? Um, you don't need a business two-year degree. Uh, to get into the the Bachelor uh, of Applied Science because uh, depending on the kind of uh, degree that you have, uh, even from another country, uh, you can enter the uh, bachelor's uh, program. Uh, the advisor will uh, work with you uh, to decide what courses you have to take. But basically, we have lots of students with degrees uh, or schooling, they took classes in other countries before uh, starting in our program. So most students start in fall, but you can also start in January and in winter, uh, not, not just in January, but also in spring, because we, are th we have three quarters. So uh, most students start in fall, but we've also had students that start in winter, which is January or spring, um, uh, which is in April. Okay, so uh, most students take 15 credits a quarter uh, and they're still working full time. Uh, yes, you have a question, uh, Doris? Yes, uh, Dr. Honorio. Yes. Uh, I have a question. Uh, I think I uh, have a good idea. It's very important for start a new business. Uh, do you think so? Are there any um, courses in this business uh, program about uh, uh, help um, students to get new ideas? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. We we have a uh, we have a course in entrepreneurship, um, and uh, you can actually start that course even in your first year if you. Uh, tell our advisor and you tell me that your goal is to start a business. The, so that course is, uh, is offered in the uh, spring uh, quarter. Uh, in fact, we have, uh, we have one coming up in uh, April, but uh, it's good before you start that course to take the fundamental courses in the functional areas like marketing, finance, uh, operations, uh, because you will need the, all those uh, fundamental courses uh, before you can uh, come up with a good business plan and a good business idea, uh, because all those uh, business uh, ideas, if you want to make it real, you, you have to know something about marketing, for example, or you have to know something about uh, finance. You have to know something about managing people um, and then um, get exposed to uh, how a lot of different businesses do it uh, before uh, you have a good business plan and uh, we can help you uh, come up with one and uh, see uh, you know how you can make the business successful right because uh, there are a lot of business ideas out there but um, to make it successful um, mm -hmm. you need to know a lot of the 
uh, fundamentals of business, like how to make money, right? Mm -hmm. how, how, to, how to manage the cash flow um, and how to get the marketing to convince uh, customers to buy your products. Uh, because uh, that's really the important thing, how to get sales, right? And uh, yeah. to, to create a competitive product or service uh, and how to put it out there if it's a if you have a new company. Uh, so right now you can do things like use social media or uh, use e-commerce, for example. Uh, you can even use things like eBay. Uh, and so, you know, people can um, start a business uh, in a way easier today. Mm -hmm. Than before, right? If you if you start uh, electronically, uh, starting with e-commerce and using social media, um, and you can start it slowly. It's called bootstrapping. Okay, uh, starting it slowly and uh, increasing uh, the size of the business uh, through profits. Okay, through additional sales, um, and so you know we can help you with that. But the important thing is. Uh, you need to know a lot about uh, the different areas of uh, business so you can be successful. Okay. Yeah. yeah, thank you. I have another question. Sure, uh, go ahead. Uh, you just mentioned the social media mm -hmm. and uh, you said uh, now we start a business is more easier. Mm -hmm. uh, so I want to ask what's the value uh, that I take this uh, business program because if I want, you really want to start a business, I can throw some social media uh, to get some knowledge. Mm -hmm. uh, well, the thing is, you know, you want a business that's going to be successful and to yeah. grow. Okay. Yeah. So a lot of people start businesses, but they, they don't become successful and they end up losing money. Right, um, or uh, you start a business and you know it goes, keeps going for a year, two years, three years, but then after that it doesn't really grow, and so uh, you have to close it and you have to, uh, you know, do something else, right? So um, the value is it increases your chances of success. Uh, and uh, being successful in the long term, okay? Uh, meaning you have a business that will survive uh, and even grow, okay? Because um, it's difficult to uh, uh, start a business that uh, takes in enough profits that you can have a good standard of living, okay? Uh, for example, uh, the other thing is if you have a bachelor's degree, uh, if you change your mind and decide not to start a business, you can always get a job, right? Mm -hmm. um, and that job can give you a, a, a good lifestyle, especially if you get promoted in the company, et cetera. But um, uh, starting a business uh, uh, means that uh, for the time being, uh, especially in the beginning, you're going to need some capital, and you're not going to have enough cash flow for living expenses. Uh, and so uh, it, it's very important to have a good plan uh, yeah. so, so that you know how much money you need because there are very, almost no business makes money right from the beginning, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and so you need to have a way to live uh, before the business starts making enough money uh, so it can pay for your living expenses, okay? Um, and so you have to plan for that uh, right from uh, the beginning, how much money uh, you are going to need, okay? Uh, because, uh, you know, nobody is giving you a salary. Um, and so, and so uh, you have to have enough money to live on uh, before you, your business starts making money and then your business has to survive because uh, there are things that can happen. Uh, conditions can change. Uh, you might lose a supplier, for instance. Um, and then it's very difficult. It's, it's, very, uh, it's very challenging. That's why 
it's always good to have a uh, bachelor's degree because mm -hmm. if something doesn't work out in the business, uh, you can go and get a job, a, a good job as a, as a marketing person, uh, for example, in a, in, in, a, in a company, right? Uh, mm -hmm. You can go work for Amazon, for instance. Um, and so... Uh, and so it's always advisable, uh, even if, if even if you don't plan on working for a company, but you plan into having a a business uh, on your own. Um, it's always good to have a backup uh, plan uh, to work for a uh, company uh, in the future if things don't work out. But also your probability because everything in life is probability right there's there's no sure thing so uh, the probability is that your business will be successful if you have a good solid background in uh, in business uh, and that you can get by studying uh, a lot of the mistakes for example that people have made uh, in the past uh, in um, in different uh, business situations. That's really what the study of, of business and uh, management is about. Uh, you study uh, mistakes that people have made in the past and you also study good things that people have made. Um, and so that helps guide you on uh, what you're going to do on your own uh, business, okay? Yeah, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. So uh, one of the things are our tuition rates are lower. Uh, the universities offering business degrees in Washington, okay, uh, in Washington State. So, for example, uh, our business degree is only one third the cost of uh, University of Washington, for instance. Uh, and of course, uh, a lot of students who apply to University of Washington don't even get accepted because it's very competitive. Uh, and so, it's always a good option to go to North Seattle College uh, because basically we have open enrollment, okay? Um, and so it's easier um, uh, to uh, get in the program, okay? Uh, so, but at the same time, it's considered equivalent as bachelors of science or bachelor of arts in business administration from universities in Washington state. Basically our graduates uh, get the same kind of jobs as graduates from uh, other uh, schools, other uh, univers universities in uh, Washington state. Um, financial aid is also available and we have financial aid advisors. Uh, we have uh, students with international visas um, and uh, we have uh, advisors that give uh, personalized attention. We have small classes. So our classes only have uh, something like 10 to 25 students. Uh, and th those are very small classes compared to universities, for instance. Um, when you get to third year or fourth year, uh, and even in the first two years, uh, our, our classes are only uh, 10 to 25 students. It's almost like going to graduate school. And so um, you get more personalized uh, attention, uh, both from your faculty and from advisors uh, as well. Because there, there is an advisor, Kate O'Dal, who only works with the bachelor uh, students in the business uh, areas. And so you get all that uh, attention. Okay, um, those are the slides that I have. Uh, Joyce, um, you uh, joined us a bit late, so if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask me a question. Do you have, do you have a question? Um, okay, so these, this is, these are the earlier slides that we showed. So I'm just gonna show it for the benefit of uh, Joyce. Uh, here, okay. So it's the International Business Program, our four-year bachelor's program, okay. Um, and it's offered in North Seattle College. So we'll take students that have degrees from other places, two-year degrees, um, and also high school students uh, directly into the other 
um, uh, directly into our four-year uh, business program. Uh, so it's basically a business degree, uh, just with uh, additional emphasis on the international aspects. Um, so uh, we have graduates. Uh, our program has been around for 10 years now. So we've had about 200 to 250 uh, graduates by now. And uh, they're working for companies like Amazon, Microsoft, uh, Boeing, uh, but even for nonprofits, uh, as well as government like City of Seattle, like Port of Seattle. Uh, we have students that are, went back to uh, working for the Seattle Colleges system. Um, and so, there's a wide variety of jobs. Uh, that, that's what makes business degrees popular because basically uh, you can get a, a lot of different kinds of jobs uh, after you graduate. Um, so there's a lot of companies, uh, there's a lot of even, even not-for-profit companies, but uh, and also uh, government, local government, state government. Uh, all higher business degrees. And so our, our Bachelor of Science degree is like the same as Bachelor of Arts or Bachelor of Science degrees from universities. It's a four-year degree in business. Uh, what makes it special is there's an emphasis and more uh, knowledge on international aspects, okay? But all the fundamental aspects of business uh, that you take in a business administration degree are there uh, as well. And so our students also get accepted to the same graduate schools uh, that bachelor's degrees uh, in business from universities get accepted to. Uh, like we have students that have graduated from University of Washington masters, uh, Seattle Pacific University, City University, Central Washington University, and also students who get their CPA. Um, and, um, and so these are some of the courses uh, that we have, international culture, business ethics, project management, international marketing, international finance, management of information systems, global entrepreneurship, okay? Uh, we use a lot of business case studies from uh, top universities. Uh, and we, we have really good faculty who have advanced degrees as well as uh, business experience, we have uh, industry advisors and guest speakers from different industries like banking, information technology, logistics, supply chain, all kinds of international business. And then as part of the program, there's also a work internship. Um, and so there's some practical uh, business experience. The other thing that's, advantage, uh, that's an advantage is that a lot of st our students have uh, business experience. So you also learn from your classmates uh, who are maybe older and have a lot of uh, business experience. Um, and so uh, there's a cohort of students that start together. So you won't be uh, just going from class to class with uh, different groups of students who you don't know very much, uh, but we have a cohort of students that start together and uh, you'll be seeing them in a lot of classes and working with them in groups. So you get to know people and, and you get to have a social support group, uh, which is very important in college. Um, so uh, even people who don't have a two-year degree in business can go into our program. Uh, you just have to uh, create a program of study with the uh, advisor. And we have a a special advisor just for uh, business uh, bachelor's students. Um, a lot of our students are working, but they're also taking the full course load, which is 15 credits a quarter. But some, are, some of our students take less and it's possible for students to finish it in three years, four years uh, by taking fewer courses. For example, if you're working full time, uh, or running a business. Um, also, our starting period is flexible. Most students start in fall, but you can also start in the January winter term 
or even uh, recently we have had students starting in the spring uh, quarter, uh, which is uh, uh, April. Okay, um, so so it's fifteen credits a quarter. Okay, we have different modalities. So there's a one hundred percent online option for students who want to take a hundred percent online. So that's useful for students who are uh, working. Um, but we also have a hybrid uh, option uh, where we use Zoom classes. And before the pandemic, we had face-to-face -face classes. Uh, and we might have it again in the future if we have more students uh, applying to that modality. And so in the application process, you will state what are your preferred uh, options. And then we can see if we can satisfy those options. But basically, we have 100% online Zoom and face-to-face. Uh, -face. And the face-to-face -face, uh, classes and Zoom classes are also all in the evening so that students can work or take other classes during the day. Okay. Um, our student uh, tuition rates are, are low. Uh, so compared to universities, for example, they're about one-third. Uh, is the tuition rate for a Bachelor of Applied Science in International Business. Uh, we also have financial aid. Uh, we also have international programs advisors for international visa students. And uh, we have a special uh, advising that's just for bachelors in business students. Um, so uh, we have education pathways. Uh, so we can offer you uh, admission direct from high school uh, into the Bachelor of Applied Science uh, by taking uh, the first two years in North Seattle College. Okay. Um, so uh, these are the uh, uh, these are the uh, program information. If you go to the North Seattle.edu website, uh, you can look for uh, programs. Uh, in the international uh, business area. There's even a YouTube uh, video uh, uh, that we have. The um, thing that's different about a verbal vacation. Okay. Uh, home, you always have the whole place to yourself. Most okay. We're working with people in Malaysia and Australia. Like that's huge, like having that option available uh which i'll be going to this summer uh, we're very um diverse and we're very open